Now let's face it, if you're going to go looking for something, where's the place you're going to go first? Google, right? Well, Google's a terrific resource, but it's not the only thing out there, and it's certainly not the most accurate or reliable source. In fact, about 50% of the information that can be searched online can't be seen by Google at all. So how do you get to that other 50%? A paid subscription to databases. Now, you don't have to pay anything because Ovid LC Area Schools has purchased those and I'm going to show you exactly how to access them. The place we're going to go this week is World Book Online, so let's check it out. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Ovid LC Area Schools homepage, and then Information Center, and then click on the link for databases. You need to enter in your username and password. If for some reason you forget these, don't worry about it. Just see Mr. Ford or someone else at the Information Center, and we'll help you out. When you're verified, you'll land on the database page. Now, almost every resource here has been paid for by the school for your use. If you're a teacher or a student, it's absolutely free. All you need is a password and a username, and we'll be glad to give those to you. We're going to scroll down to World Book Online and click on the link. There's a lot of great information to explore here, but today we're just going to focus on World Book Web. That's the World Book Online access to the encyclopedia. There's three different levels. There's one for elementary school kids, one for middle school kids, and one for high school, junior college, and university students. And that's the one that we're going to look at today. We're going to move over to World Book Advanced and click on that. The information that you'll find here has been carefully researched. It is reliable and it is accurate. And that's one of the things you get when you use a tool like World Book Online as opposed to a tool like Google, where you're just not sure how you got that information, who did what, or whether or not it's just someone's opinion. Okay, let's dive right in with a keyword search, a basic keyword search for, let's say you're doing a government class and you want to check out President Obama. Go ahead and enter in. Obama and hit return or hit the search key and you're gonna find that you have a lot of information that has been returned look at all of this on the left hand side is sort of the index of what you have um, as your results you're gonna have encyclopedia articles in this case 47 US presidential papers which is an example of a primary source of information tables historical maps pictures video and animations a lot of different types of of information here. Let's go ahead and click on Obama. This is the first article that was returned for us out of the 47. And you're going to see that again on the left hand side is a column of subdivisions or main sections um, of different points of interest in Obama's um, entire life. It's almost like a timeline. And you can go down to the part that interests you the most. Let's say state senator. And if I come down here, it's going to jump to that section, and immediately I can start reading about and taking notes on Obama as a state senator. If I come down here on the left-hand side and I look at this picture, I know that there's a little icon on the left-hand side here that denotes that it is just a picture. But I can also see, on the, if I move over to the right, that there's video excerpts in here too. And if I play those, let's give this a listen. John Kerry believes in America. And he knows that it's not enough for just some of us. Now, this is an example of a type of resource that Google can't give you because they don't have access to this kind of subscription-based information. So it's really valuable from that standpoint. If we go ahead and hit the back key and we get back into the article, I want to just show you one more quick thing while our time is up, or before our time is up. If you go down to the bottom of the page, you'll see how to cite this article. Now, this is very important for high school students and for college students to learn how to do because you need to give credit where credit is due. And this is how you do it. In fact, WorldBook makes it very easy. They go ahead and give you an example of how to cite this article in MLA format. All you really have to do is select the citation 
copy, and then paste it into your report, and you're good to go. That's it for our 60-second search. Probably went over a little bit on the 60-second search, but it's worth it. Try World Book Online. If you have any questions, you can always get a hold of me, James Ford, at Ovid LC Information Center. I'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day. See you next week.